very serious. Time now is 8.21. There are growing calls from patients, experts and nurses for better training and awareness of sickle cell disease. It's an inherited blood disorder that affects thousands of mostly African and Caribbean people in the UK. Yeah, during a so-called sickle cell crisis or episode, red blood cells change shape, causing intense pain and organ damage. Well, they can prove fatal in some cases. And as Noel Phillips reports, just having the condition can make other illnesses much worse. Cavell was just six when he died from organ failure, sepsis and sickle cell disease in 2015. He, he just kept saying, Mom, I just want to lie down. Simone called at 999 and told operators her son was vomiting, had a temperature as well as sickle cell. Over the next hour, his condition worsened. You know, what happened on that day, I... I, just, I don't feel it was treated urgently enough when that person on the phone told me I'd have to probably wait up to 45 minutes for an ambulance. Two ambulances and a rapid response unit were dispatched, but then cancelled and sent to more urgent cases. But shortly after paramedics arrived, Cavell went into cardiac arrest. I was a bit panicked, but I wasn't trying to show that I was panicked, but I was... It was serious then. Lola Oni is one of the country's most senior sickle cell nurses. So you combine the diarrhea, the vomiting, the fact that the mother said the child has a fever, okay? You combine those things together with the fact the child's got sickle cell disease, that should be a trigger sufficient to say that child needs immediate attention. In a statement, London Ambulance Service apologised for the delay in getting to Cavell. Their medical director added that over the last few years they have worked very closely with the Sickle Cell Society to continue to improve care to patients. They regularly audit the care they provide and sickle cell training is given to all their ambulance crews. It's like you're getting stabbed all over your body. As in, and while you're getting stabbed, someone's putting acid on you. Kayende is one of 15,000 people in Britain living with sickle cell disease. It causes crippling pain. But KND claims he's had to wait hours in hospital for treatment. Sickle cell patients can't be waiting in a cubicle for two plus hours while under a sickle cell crisis episode to get treated. Not very many sentences. Joe Howard is a sickle cell consultant. In a recent report, she says that staff shortages mean patients aren't getting the right care. Patients shouldn't be left in pain. Patients should be treated within 30 minutes. I think that's an absolutely you know, reasonable thing that we should be doing for every patient. Um, and I think all trusts really should be aiming to do that. Growing up with it, I've had to teach the doctors about it. Davinia has been living with the disease for 30 years. The understanding and the care just isn't there. I think many of the nurses aren't taught about the symptoms while they're training. They learn it on the job. NHS England told us they are committed to providing patients with the highest standards of treatment, care and support. But Davinia says she fears the condition remains largely overlooked and life for sickle cell sufferers will remain difficult. Noel Phillips, BBC News. Uh, that's Noel Phillips there talking to Davinia and some of the other uh, patients there. Thank you very much, of course, to them for talking to us about that.